is um, the Audsall and Broughton Participatory Budget Event, uh, or Community Piggy Bank as it's been titled. Um, and it's community groups coming here tonight to pitch for a share of £15,000, which is money GMP has given to the community, to reinvest in the community, doing what they want to do with it. It's letting the people in the area vote for it and what they want to vote for and what they think is going to make a difference in their community. Well, it's uh, for the community, by the community. It gives the community, it empowers them to decide where the money goes to. We want we £1,200 pound pound and we got, got £1,200. Thank you. <laughs> well, there's been people from Broughton and Oddsall coming together to decide together how the money might be split between many community groups. I'm saying what goes on in my community and where the money goes to in my community. Not somebody sitting in an office telling me where, my money, where the money's going to. I want to be in charge of my own life in my community. The police are part of your community and if we all work together we can overcome the problem. So it's about the community telling us what they want the police to do as well as the police upholding the laws of society. I've got a buzz because it's great to hear what other people are doing but also to come together and to decide together because often we fight for our funding but here we're, we're actually collaborating together so I'm leaving excited and uh, hopeful that this might be done again. I think we need the community to help us police the streets um, because without the community we're not getting any intelligence um, and we've not got that working relationship together. It allows us to target our resources more efficiently and more effectively actually in fighting crime. It's the first time I've ever been to one and I really think it's good. I think this is absolutely fantastic. It shows the power of a community in action. We've got people here who may have been the victims of crime themselves. They live in areas where there's been high crime in the past and now they can see the benefits of all the work that they've done with us in partnership with ourselves and other agencies and they're reaping the rewards of that tonight. Community groups are important because often they do things that are get forgotten by statutory groups. So they fill the gaps. And not only do they fill the gaps, but they do things in a way that other people couldn't do. Because people who live in the community are really the experts on that community. I think you'll see our communities actually reinvesting that money into making their own localities better for themselves. Um, you know, so youth groups, elderly people groups, any groups, they can spend it on almost whatever they want as long as it's legal. Um, and, you know, they, they will make their own communities better for themselves. If you don't have community, you don't have nothing, do you? You don't have people to rely on or to cook, where you, you know, need you when you want them. You've got nothing. Fantastic. Oh, oh I've done it. Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Extremely fair. Entirely fair. It's been brilliant and very democratic. This evening has it's been, been absolutely, absolutely wonderful. wonderful. We was all given an even chance yeah. to put forward our case, Voting. fight for what we wanted, and we was voted on those grounds. enjoyed it and it's been very informative. When organising a PB event, please have good humour. I think when you live in an area, you've seen things start and fail and you know what might make a difference. So I think the passion comes from wanting to make a difference from people's lives. event it'll gain trust within the community that we're not just here to catch criminals we're here to for the public to be more for the public to approach us more easily um, once the event is finished our idea is to go and see how the groups are getting along get chatting to the residents for them to gain more trust within the police the 
If we're true about neighbourhood policing integration, empowering our communities to actually help themselves, and in these times of austerity, we need the public's help more than ever before, and for them to take some responsibility for their own communities, this is a step towards that, and it actually gives them some power back. We want to make a difference. It's important we make a difference, because if we don't make a difference, who's going to? Yeah.